And this is uh, how you make a walk-in closet out of the planks. We still have some paint to do, you know. Yeah, but look what I did. On this video, we're going to step-by-step -step build an entire plank wall for under $100. Slide it all the way to the end, and then you just bring it up. We're going to be installing uh, wall planks. Wall planks are essentially flooring planks that you could purchase, uh, sometimes at a discount, uh, that you will install as a sort of a featured wall. Um, so we got these at a dollar fourteen a square foot. These are a twelve millimeter. So this entire closet should cost us a two and a half boxes. Well, with glue, let's just say eighty-five, ninety dollars. I always start off by ripping out the baseboards here. So we ripped out the baseboards. So the reason I like planking is because when you run into issues like this, right? So we took off the, the old support for the shelving here. You're always gonna be stuck with these holes. So you have to patch it up, sand it, then you got out patch it up maybe sometimes a second time and then it just takes a long long time so with planking you get a, an amazing water resistant um, almost waterproof uh, surface it's a timeless texture it looks beautiful uh, as a hole on the wall and, uh, you get results immediately because this is going to be done today so here's one washroom that was completed this is the very first one that i've done um, but you can see that i uh, we put wall planking all over it's not for everybody. It's definitely a lot of more work than painting. You want to scatter them when you put them on the same way you would on flooring. The flooring here is tiles, obviously, but um, these are 10 mil and they break a lot easier. So if you're going to go this route and wall plank by 12 millimeter, it's going to be a little more money, but it's going to be a heck, heck of a lot easier to install. Anyways, let's get on to the install. These work like any other flooring planks. They have a lip on one side and uh, some sort of a membrane on the bottom and then they click like puzzle pieces like so right you just align them and then that's it then you just make sure they're sort of flush and then you go to the next one the next one the next one the next one uh, for glue we're going to be using the pl3x strong adhesive and we're going to only be putting a couple of dabs on there some people will recommend different types of glues but i've been using this very successfully for many 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 projects and in my recommendations is by far the best know that when you put this feature wall on if you were to take it off you're going to cause damage in the back side of the drywall so anywhere there's a dab essentially when you rip off the plank you're going to have a tear in your drywall so you're going to pretty much have to put up a whole new drywall so again if you're committing to this project or you're having second thoughts just know that now we have a straight floor, so we're just gonna follow the floor by placing the plank at the bottom and then working our way up. It's just really to get them to stick little tiny dabs like that. So now I'm gonna grab the big one. Now it's very important that you place plank with the lip sticking out and the big lip on top. When you start, this will make it easier when you're building your way up. So, like this. Now we'll grab the smaller piece, and now we're gonna click this into place. The big lip up here, this clips into there. Like that, and now we just push it forth, and there we go. And then just make sure this is sort of flush. There we go. Boom. That's our first row. And then you just continue up. Once you have your next piece, again, remember to align the lips. Slide it all the way to the end. And then you just bring it up gently. And then hit it a little if you need to but this should be nice and flush and again that's how easy it is so let's just keep going if you find yourself struggling to get this flush anytime during the placement of the planks you want to get yourself something like this, this is a, uh, called the universal tapping block it's used for flooring so what this does is it has a lip here you put this on the edge of your plank like so and then you get to hit this with the hammer so when you hit this with a hammer it pushes the plank and clicks it to the one below it, therefore making that nice and tight seal. You always want to make sure that you push this towards the wall, hold it, and then you 
Remember to stagger these. You don't wanna have one long line going up. I made the mistake that many, many times in the beginning. So this is the third one now. There we go. So this one doesn't really need a tab. But you see stagger, then stagger, and then stagger. So now as we move on, it will just keep staggering. So this is where we're at. Okay, so I want to give you a little tip here. Now you may run into this little issue when you have an uneven wall. When this happens, here's what you do. You're going to notice that I drilled it in the screw right into the wall through this plank. The reason that I did this is because as you're building up, because the glue hasn't set and there is no pressure uh, being applied on your wall, uh, if the wall is even a little bit uneven, you're gonna start having it sort of pull out or bend out in a center or on one of the ends. Now, this end is pretty nice, it's pretty flush, but I noticed that this has been slowly pulling away. Now, I don't wanna sit there and wait. Uh, I, as you can see, I applied some dumbbells here to uh, put weight on here. You could get a person sort of leaning against your wall as you're working, but obviously that's not uh, something that uh, most people are going to want to do. So instead, what you want to do is you can cut a little sliver of the lip here. And as long as the screw that you put in here is flush with this, the plank that's going to go over top is going to hide this and you don't have to worry about it uh, pushing it out. Let me just show you here. So let's take this plank here and we're going to apply it the same way that we would anything else. If we put this in, notice that it's completely flush here, right? Even though there's a screw, it's completely flush and this is holding it against the wall. So that's one tip for you if the wall is bowing out. And then as you keep going up, you keep doing that. Overnight, the peel through or glue will dry. So if you want to wait and not bother with the screws, you can do uh, say a third one day, let the glue dry and the next morning continue and then, then you're never going to have that bow out effect. When you are finishing for the night, for example, if you're not going to go all the way to the end, you want to put a screw right in here just so it presses it against it when it's drying. And then in the morning, you're going to take this screw out. So that's another sort of tip for you guys. But uh, yeah, definitely huge improvement in the room. As I said, it's only $30 more than painting and this will last forever. It will look amazing forever. So we are going to put up shelving all the way up on this side and all the way up on this side. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And again, if you have a better way of approaching uh, a featured wall or a plank wall, please let me know in the comments below. I'm always happy to learn from uh, all, you, all you guys. Now, if you want to speed things up, apply the glue directly on the wall and then place your planks on. It looks good. Uh, quick little project. As I said, it doesn't cost any more than maybe $30, $40 more than if you were to paint the entire wall. And well, this is not the kind of result you're gonna get with paint. I'm gonna show you the final result in the next video when we actually start hanging our shelves because we are going to put up shelving all the way up on this side and all the way up on this side. It's gonna, there we go. Stand on it. And that, my friends, is how to create a walk-in closet. Not run into any issues whatsoever. Staggering, though, it, you know, it's a little problematic, especially with cutting these small pieces. Lost, 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 Exactly, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Take out the bit. Okay, and now you put that inside, exactly. And now you grab your screw. And uh, yeah, this is uh, how you make a walk-in closet out of wood. Planks, and this is how you step into paint when you're not paying attention. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. We still have some paint today, you know. <laughs>
Yeah, but look what I did. I stepped into paint because I was YouTubing. <laughs> <laughs>